I had a really good client session yesterday with my client, uh, Phil, that I've been working with now for about over a year. He's making so much progress in his business, you know, with his confidence, with his communication, his public speaking skills, uh, his selling, you know, making money, helping his clients, you know, making friends, being more honest, being more disciplined, the dieting, the training, the consistency, uh, the mindset, all those things. And one of the things that I've realized throughout the years of mentoring people and working on my own anxieties is people's relationships to their thoughts initially are, are not good. And I've made some notes today so I can explain and outline what I'm hoping to teach today and explain. So your relationship with your thoughts, how to get confident at overcoming anxiety. I wrote this myself. People who have anxiety don't generally have a good relationship with their thoughts to begin with because they're afraid of their thoughts. Thinking about going to the gym is far more difficult than actually going to the gym. Another example is thinking about selling products and services in your business is far more difficult than actually doing it. There's a lesson to be learned here for all of us and this is an ongoing lesson for me that I find fascinating and inspiring. So. The more you think about doing something, the more anxious you will become. That's the way the human mind works. That's how all human beings are. And that's our relationship uh, with our own mind and with our own thinking. You know, I've written here, sorry, this phone. You know, people waste so much time and energy thinking about the things they want to do. Becoming more disciplined is about thinking less and acting more. Taking action builds confidence versus overthinking lowers confidence and self-esteem. When you commit to doing something, it's pretty easy versus when you think about it and you ruminate and you overthink and you give all your energy to those fearful ideas in your head. Anxiety, the human mind, our relationship to the ideas in our head are always exaggerated when we build them up in our minds and we make them something more difficult than they actually are in reality. This is why it's so good to take action because when you take action, you get proof that the negative fearful ideas in your head are false. You also get confirmation that you can do it and you have done it and that builds confidence and you also get wisdom, knowledge, real life experience that's not from a book or from logic or what someone's tweeted online. That gives you motivation to keep going and keep growing. I've gone on to write here. This is why it's so good to practice daily discipline so you can improve your relationship with how you relate to your thoughts, with how you relate to your anxiety and with how you relate to your own mind. I've helped countless clients over the years to get really good at breaking the cycle of overthinking and getting them to take more action in their lives. If you don't take consistent action in your life, nothing is going to change. When you take consistent action, your mental health improves, your confidence improves, your attitude improves, and your mindset becomes much stronger. So I stopped there, I could have gone on and written, I'm going to continue in this video. So this is why it's so good for everybody, not just people that quote unquote have got anxiety disorders or certain anxieties because when you take action things improve and you break out of that mental and emotional prison of being stuck. So of course it's okay to do some thinking but we always do too much. We're naturally going to think anyway. So you want to give you an example, you want to get, you want to, get to a point where let's say today I say, you know, for my clients you say right I want to make a YouTube video in my business. I want to help people, I want to inspire people. You know, I want to increase my chances of earning more money, getting clients or just making a video for free and inspiring people, or just sharing my thoughts on a YouTube video. As soon as you say that and think that, th thinking more is all a waste of time. It's better to go, right, I want to do that. You, you're going to think it in your head, you're going to have an image, go and do it. The quicker you get at thinking about doing something, making a decision and doing it, that's how you enjoy life. All that time in between saying, yeah, but my hair's not right. 
my clothes are not right, the lighting's not right, I've got to get them, I've got to control the whole of reality and then I'm going to make the video. My emotion, all that is wasting time. And all that feeds into that kind of insecure attitude with trying to be perfect. You can't try and be perfect because none of us are perfect, we're not meant to be. But you can be more confident, you can become a better version of yourself every single day. So it's a discipline. I learned this when I was a kid on a council estate when I was getting bullied and I was terrified. You know, I had to go out and fight one on one. My dad made me do it. That's how it was back then. I was petrified of, um, of anxiety, of someone beating me up, humiliating me, embarrassing me, bullying me. All these things happened until I realized when I took the action, although I was terrified before, it was easier. It's much easier, much easier to stand up to someone. And, and to have a one-on-one -on -one fist fight than it was to sit at home and think about doing it. Think about what the bully could do to me or think about the worst case scenario. That's terrifying. That's absolute agony. The longer you stay there, the more scary it becomes, the more you suffer, the more pain. And then your mind goes into crazy places and creates things that are, that are just weird and not even true. So you can dig a deeper and a deeper hole by thinking about doing things too much. And I said this 12 years ago when I first come on YouTube that people read so many books and they overthink so much. It's because I learned that through my life experience. I learned that through seeing people talk too much and not acting enough. And I obviously learned from seeing people, men and women, that were really brave. They took the action. And when you take the action, you can tell. You can tell when someone's taking action. You know, you can, you can see it in their character. You, you can read it in there, but you can sense it in, in everything. So everyone can do it. No one's better than anyone. It's about practice. And it's all discipline. And, it, and it's all about courage. It's not about getting into these deep psychoanalysis, these deep, deep perspectives. That just messes you up. You make something so simple like going to the gym and enjoying the gym, you make it into some deep psychoanalysis, philosophical thing that it's not even that. And of course, you know, psychology has its place and I've always enjoyed some psychology, but in this area it don't work. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. You know, you don't need, you don't need deep psychology to make a YouTube video. You don't. You don't need deep psychology to get out of bed and brush your teeth. You don't. These are ideas that people have decided and they don't help you, these ideas. They cause suffering, misery and pain. The idea that I'm telling you works, it causes, a, it creates happiness and peace and gratitude. And that's to take action and to simplify things. So you don't need all this deep psychoanalysis to go to the gym and you don't, you definitely don't need it to socialize. I challenge anyone who says you do, they're wrong. They're wrong. That, that, that's not natural, that's not fun. You don't enjoy relationships when you analyze everyone's behavior in your own. There might be a time to do that if you're a psychologist or a therapist, but even a therapist has to take a day off because the head's going to explode. You know, second guessing everyone, we, we naturally have instincts anyway. We can sense when someone's genuine. We can sense when they're fake. We can tell we've got a built-in human intelligence. We don't need to add to it. We need to subtract from it. We need to do less maths, more action. <clears throat> and that's where confidence comes from. Confident people don't analyze too much. They don't second guess. They just set a goal, make a decision, and they do it. And the beautiful thing is you don't have to be perfect and you can't be perfect, none of us are. But you can come correct, you can get good at it. And you know, you know it's true because you feel it in your own body. It doesn't matter what others say. So for people that want to get into those arguments, I wouldn't even entertain it. I've, I stopped doing that years ago. I find it fun, fascinating. Now I know that, I know that they're incorrect. I know that signals, and that's the fear speaking and the anxiety. When we're talking about the area of discipline, you know, going to the gym, being a better person, working in our business. Most of the things in life don't require thinking. This is where all human beings suffer. We think too much. We engage too much. <clears throat> and we think we're our thoughts. We're not our thoughts. We're not our thoughts and we're not our emotions. But these are, these are some of the gifts that come of being human. And you can get a better relationship with thoughts. So I'm not saying that all thinking is bad, but I'm saying that most of it is, especially overanalyzing. So there is a positive space of thinking. Like I said, you get an idea and you think, oh, I feel really good about that. I'd like to message a friend today, see if they want to go for a coffee. Send the message, go for it, that's beautiful. Oh, I feel really good today about um, doing a speech on YouTube. I want to help people, I want to inspire people. You go, brilliant. But when you start to say, I've got an idea to make a YouTube video, and then you're spending nine months analyzing and you're not doing it, you're not taking the action because you're scared to do it, be honest. We've all got fear, it's that honesty again, it's that, it's that accountability, it's that communication. 
with your own soul, with your own spirit, with yourself and with others um, that care for your best interest. That communication, why aren't I doing it? I'm scared to do it. I'm scared because of the uncertainty, because of what people are going to think. So it's breaking out of that. And when you focus, you, you, you're not in a headspace where, I'm not even going to say that you don't care what people think. I'm going to say something even more mature. You're not in that space. You're in a space of gratitude. You're enjoying things. And if anything, you're thinking about being kind and helping other people. So you don't have time to think about what others are thinking. That's a waste of time, waste of energy, waste of life. So it's a discipline. It's simple. Anyone can get it. Anyone can get it. I don't care how much anxiety you've got, how low confidence you... Anyone can do this. Everyone's going to have their own opinion, but I don't believe there was anybody that was more anxious than I was when I was younger. And even at times in my life. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. My clients are doing it. Many of you have, have done it. So it's not about beating yourself up. It's not about putting yourself down. It's not about hating on yourself, judging yourself, judging others. It's just about learning and saying, right, let's start to build this habit. We build it one step at a time. We build it one day at a time. And when you get it and you come correct, you feel it. You feel it. There's a connection. It's like a puzzle that clicks. You can practice it right now. You've got 24 hours in a day. So if you, if, if you say today, tomorrow, I'm going to clean my apartment, the place is, is a tip. It's unacceptable, right? The dishes need washing. I need to hoover. I need to clean. I need to water the plants. I need to fix things in order, make the bed, wash the clothes, clean the sink, clean the toilet. If you say that you're going to do it, you do it. And you don't spend six months analyzing and psycho and analyzing and analysis about how to clean an apartment where you don't need all that. It doesn't require that level of deep thinking. That's just going to burn your energy out, run you into the ground, make you depressed, make you miserable and keep you stuck in that negative cycle of procrastination, which is another fancy word for the same symptoms, overthinking. And it's being dragged in by thoughts that are intrusive, negative, positive, a mixture of all. Even positive thoughts can be a trap. People feel good about thinking about what they're going to do. They tell other people, this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do, and they don't do it. Until they really realize how much they're suffering and how much they're losing, how much other people are losing out on the gifts that you've got and the talents that you've got. It's simplicity and anxiety can never be one with complication, with intellectual endeavor, with all this. That's, that's what it feeds on. You beat it with stupidity, with courage, with heart, with guts, with faith, with discipline, with accountability, with motivation and simplicity. Anyone can do it of any age, of any background, any position in their life. And if you're in a position right now, and I understand, where you can't do it, then you've got to ask for help. There's a lot of help and support out there. There's good people out there that will assist you and help you for as long as you need the help until you get yourself back into winning ways and then you can go from there. So this is a skill that we must learn as people if we want to live better. And it's simple. Probably our grandparents knew this a lot better. Obviously, there's some great things of this generation. There's things of this generation that are appalling. One of which is the overthinking, the overanalyzing, the comparing, the, the talking too much and the not taking enough action. When you take action, it's beautiful. You, you don't, you're not worried about what others think because you're practicing the truth in this area. And the truth in this area is the more you think, the more you suffer. The more you think, um, the more you get frightened. The more you think, the more you stay stuck. The more you think, the more you give your life away to fear and anxiety versus the more you act and take action. In an, obviously in an appropriate way, it's not harmful to others, but it's, it's on point, it, you know, it's strong, it's positive, the more confidence you have. And you get more present when you take more action. It's just common sense. I mean, when I was younger, my dad would say, if you're stressed or you're, go out, play football with your friends. You know, it, it, will, it will calm you down, it will tire your mind out. It absolutely works. So we're too isolated. That's why I say come out of isolation. The first step is get out of bed early, leave the apartment, go for a walk, appreciate nature, go see a friend, start on your business. So I help people to take action who are committed to taking action in all areas of their life. From the most simple habit to the more complicated one. Starting off at getting out of bed, brushing their teeth, cleaning their apartment, all the way up until doing public speaking. Anybody can do public speaking. I know so many of you are, the program in your head is, is not gonna believe me because you're gonna say, well, I'm different to you, I'm this, I'm that. It's not true, you can do it. I never thought I could do it years ago because I was stuck in a program which is called human thinking, anxiety. I'm not good enough, I'm not enough, I can't handle it. Others are better than me, I'm not educated, I'm not smart. None of it was true. 
when I actually went and done it, I couldn't, it, was, it was challenging at the start, but I also couldn't believe how easy it was. I couldn't believe how natural it felt, because we all speak, it's natural to speak. And it was, just a, it was just adjusting to speaking in front of more people, and I absolutely loved it, as I love doing these videos. So you've got to get on the other side of fear, and courage is not the absence of overthinking, and fear, and anxiety, and doubt, and am I good enough? C courage is doing it anyway. And that's what I get my clients to, to get more discipline at doing things quicker. And of course you can have a little, there's, you know, there's certain things where you need to think a little bit more. But the things I'm talking about today, they don't require hardly any thinking. Running, going to the gym, spending time with family and friends, cleaning your apartment, creating in your business, going to work, you know, working on your hobbies, speaking, writing, the things that you enjoy. These are practical things. Practical things do not require thinking. They don't because you're gonna do enough thinking anyway. Reduce the thinking, increase the action. Watch your life change. Watch your mental health change. Watch every aspect of your life improve from the simple discipline of acting more and thinking less and becoming more aware of when you're in that place of overthinking and your mind has pulled you out of the present moment and you are entertaining ideas in your head that are not in reality and they're fearful stories and ideas, and it's human. It's not about judging, but it's about understanding and learning how to come out of these patterns. It was the same with the boxing. When I first started, I was petrified. I made all the excuses, I'm not ready, I've got to get fitter, I've got to get stronger, I've got to study boxing. All of it, all of it was a lie, which was called fear and anxiety. I had to just get in and learn, get beaten up, learn, get embarrassed, I had to go through that. And when I realized that, I realized it by doing it. I got more confident through the process of doing it. So most of the time, all of you, we all do it. We are waiting to be qualified. You don't get qualified by waiting. You get qualified by taking action in this area. You know, you, overcoming fear doesn't require a degree. It doesn't, it requires guts, it, it, nothing. You don't need money, you don't need followers. It's inside. You know, as I said in the Karate Kid to Daniel's son, it's okay to lose to the opponent, but must not lose to fear. You stay focused, it's focus. Focus on what you want, don't think about what you want to do and do it and you feel better after. You can think after you've done it, you can write a book after, it'll be your own book from your own experience as opposed to just saying, oh have you read this person's book, have you seen what they say? But what about you though? What about, what about you being a positive example? What about all of us uh, all humble? No one's better than anybody. And if you believe that someone's better than you based on what they've got, then you've entertained an idea in your head which is not helping you. That's not the idea that I, I go by. That program is out of date. But it takes courage to face that fear. But it's simple. You know, and the most frightened person can become the most bravest person in a matter of seconds by making that decision by making that commitment to face simple things. And if you can face simple things consistently, then you can face really difficult things consistently. So that's what I love about the simplicity and the beauty of exercising courage. It takes discipline to face things that you're scared of quicker as opposed to putting them off and contemplating and talking and being defensive and judging all the ways in which we hide, all the ways that anxiety plays out in our behaviors and our thinking. Once you understand the negative behaviors, you, then, you, then you understand the right strategy of the right behaviors. And the right behavior is acting more, doing more, taking action. And the, and the incorrect behavior is sitting down and, hmm, yeah, let me think about that. Oh, yes, no, maybe so. You just get stuck and the anxiety loves that. The anxiety, the bully loves that. It feeds off that. It strengthens off that. It takes all your energy, drains all the life out of you. Stop giving it your energy. Keep that same energy, put it into taking action. And of course, when you've taken a lot of action, you can rest and sleep, you can sit down. You can do a little bit of thinking then. That's when you, you've kind of earned it. And the thinking's more healthy after taking action. I've always learned that, it's beautiful. But the thinking before taking action, if it's prolonged, is never healthy. It never goes to a good place, even if it starts off with a positive idea. A f thinking about an idea is brilliant, but it, if it isn't acted on very quickly, it soon returns into a nightmare. Even if it's fictional, it's not real. Because there's too much analysis paralysis, too much trying to be a psychologist, too much deep thinking, too much analyzing and judging, judging yourself, judging your thoughts when you don't need all that. And that's where true fun lies and joy and peace and creativity in, act, in, in taking action and thinking less. Think about any time in your life, any time in your life 
when you when you were truly feeling grateful and happy and connected you weren't thinking too much you couldn't be because you wouldn't be happy through thinking obsessive overthinking all right so apply this do not compare yourself to me or my clients or to your friends or to someone you follow you're not you that's not mature right but don't judge yourself if you do that just become aware start to focus have a daily routine wake up get out of bed Write down your goals and responsibility and start to practice doing them one by one, day by day. You're going to get stronger. You're going to get wiser. I know all of you are intelligent already and you're going to be more confident and you're going to learn more than I could ever teach you through your own experiences, through taking more action and getting that discipline. And there's so much learning that you will um, learn through living more, living more of a brave life, more of a committed life, as opposed to the learning which is not very good. It's not a great intelligence to sit down and do deep analysis with your own mind and play that game. It always ends, it always ends badly. So I don't think it's intelligent personally. I personally think it's foolish. I think a lot of us have been taught that it is when it isn't. I think it's very, very intelligent to do what we're talking about today. You know, just thinking of the film Braveheart, to be brave, to stand in front of the face of fear um, and, and to face it and get better with it. Have that better relationship with your own mind, with your own thoughts and learning to make some space from those negative intrusive ideas that scare you and bring you down and they're all based on lies. They're not based on facts. They're based on conditioning, what someone said, what you think, other people's ideas, what's out in the media. So you, you break out of these illusions through cutting through and taking the action and then your whole thought process works a lot better anyway and that's why so many people will say about people that have taken a lot of action wow you, you seem really intelligent you must have read hundreds of books and a lot of times they say i haven't not read many books it's because they took massive action it's because they're following their intuition it's because they're not making things complicated they're not using philosophy to run away from their fears they're not using anything even taking positive things using that as a defense mechanism to get out of the feeling of facing fear a real intelligent warrior understands this he understands it and she understands it through living it breathing it practicing and also failing at it getting not getting knocked down and humiliated getting back up dusting yourself back off going again learning sharing connecting encouraging other people so when you get braver you'll help your community you'll help more people the more braver people we've got the more kind people more loving more forgiving less judgmental we're going to live in a better place and that's something really worth um, um, not thinking about but actually worth practicing and living so I really like to break down the value and and the, and the truth of something so simple which is to cut the analyzing down and the, and break the, the pattern of overthinking and simply take more action whether you go for a run in the park you go work out you get up you go see a friend you go spend time with your family you get on a plane you go and do a trip you go in the boxing ring you go and join MMA you do the things that you really want to do you do the things that you said that you're going to do and you continue to do these things and and uh, get better at tolerating uncertainty and the unknown and living more of an inspired life living more of a brave life as opposed to living a life um, of a coward I'm gonna say it right and again there's no shame in, in being a coward at times we've all been but we don't want to be like that forever and it's a dictionary definition so you can enjoy all areas of your life and when people say this is working career of course it does it works in any area every area of life because you're with your own mind your own thoughts and it's all it's about the action that you take no one can stop you from doing that other than yourself so it's it really it's you against your anxiety in a healthy way it's not you against me or other people even though your mind can play tricks on you and say that. So I'll leave it there. And if you got a lot of value from this video, brilliant. You can like, you can share, build this community, help more people. And if you're ready to take the next step and take a mentorship program with me, I do short-term mentorship, medium, long-term for clients that have got a good attitude, that are reliable, that are committed, they're gonna try their best. I work with people like that. My email address is below send me an email you can tell me about what your specific goal is if you've got a certain goal if it's just generally getting better at having more confidence controlling your anxiety and having that better relationship with less thinking more living more taking action all right appreciate all of you coming on today enjoy the weather it's a beautiful day i'll speak to you in the next video all right appreciate it